What I'm going to try to define is how these movements are formed, where we can detect them and find them, since they, they, they represent not only uh, 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 political force, but also social force, and that, that, that the forms they take are not the classical political forms, such as parties or uh, uh, organi political organizations. So where is that new left and how it is actually defined? Uh, also, if, if it's an emancipatory movement, from what they try to emancipate us and uh, what they're doing to do, do so. Um, what would this mean? What would new left mean? First of all, we had to distinguish it from the old left, meaning the Communist Party left in this part of the world. And then on the other hand, from the established left, or what I would call the established left, namely the so political parties that call themselves socialist or social democratic in the post-socialist space. And generally, across this space, they have not been very left over the last 20 to 30 years, meaning that what is um, usually uh, uh, in the media discourse known as left is today very neoliberal or, very, or quite uh, centrally positioned, and in the worst uh, cases, even right-wing. Now, how the new left that comes from streets, horizontal movements, student movement, uh, the movement that fights for the commons, urban, public, uh, or natural commons, how it could be defined? And I think that it can be defined as, as a movement that, that struggles against uh, uh, neoliberal capitalism and the so-called uh, transition to neoliberal uh, 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 capitalism in this part of the world. It is also a movement that is um, fighting for democracy, for more democracy. Uh, um, it's a movement that thinks that a procedural electoral democracy is not democratic, but it's actually quite oligarchic in its sense. And it's a movement that experiments with different forms of democracy, namely horizontal. Uh, one. So this movement that has been uh, growing uh, 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 over the last 10 years, namely from the financial crash of 2008, uh, is also a movement that is facing today uh, 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 enormous burden of the past. And that burden of the past, it's actually the burden of the 20th, 20th century history and more specifically of the 90s, of the last decade of the 20th century. This is a movement, this is a new left, new leftist progressive movement that comes after socialism, after Yugoslavia, and after conflict. And these three uh, 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 moments uh, pose enormous obstacles for any progressive movement across the Balkans, and also uh, 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 make the situation of these new left very specific for this part uh, 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 of the world. What does it mean to build a socialist movement after state socialism failed? It is extremely difficult to uh, uh, advocate uh, uh, radical leftist ideas in the area where, where state socialism collapsed. And not only that, where, where socialism as ideology has been completely delegitimized by mostly conservative and right-wing forces that filled the political vacuum after the end of socialism. Then, after all, what does it mean to, to build uh, a regional left uh, after Yugoslavia collapsed as a project of a common state of South Slavic people? Borders were erected. It is very difficult uh, 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 to actually act across this space. And yet, at the same time, this space is extremely familiar due to the shared history and the shared language. But that is not the end of the problems of, of any progressive actor in this part of the world. Yugoslavia collapsed in a bloody conflict that claimed up to 100, uh, 130,000 human lives. How do you build uh, anything that will, can transcend uh, all these historical obstacles? So this is where I'm going to focus in my lecture. But I'm going also to show that history is not only a burden, it could be an inspiration. And I'll try to show that the new left looks for, its, for, for inspiration, namely in anti-fascist struggle, in the resistance during the Second World War, in women's emancipation, in international solidarity of, of socialist Yugoslavia, but also in self-management, in social rights, and social equality that that country provided to its citizens. 
So there is a lot of inspiration to be found in order to, to wage the struggles today. But of course, as I'm going to show, new left will have to, 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 to also learn a different language for a different uh, circumstances under which it, it struggles. It means that it will also have to show not only from what it tries to emancipate us, but also for what actually, for what kind of future it tries to emancipate us. Uh, and what I would claim, it, sh it will have to show, and it already showed us, some what I call emancipation forms. Emancipation form would mean actually some experiments in how the future might look like. And in the Balkans, we saw these experiments. We saw them with student rebellions and, uh, and uh, the horizontal democracy they practice. We saw them with the plenums across Bosnia. And we saw them also in some uh, limited cases of workers' takeovers, namely uh, taking control of the, of the factories and establishing some sort of uh, self-managed uh, and horizontally organized um, uh, 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 units. So the new left in these circumstances that are extremely difficult and, and much more difficult than, than for the Western left exists, it struggles, it also offers a new political and social, social forms, but it has to face time and again enormous difficulties posed by the burden of our recent history. I think that the conflict and the war, and especially uh, uh, um, uh, the heavy legacy of war crimes and ethnic cleansing, uh, are the most difficult uh, 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 problem for the new left to solve. As I said, the conflict had one uh, a very per uh, uh, peculiar uh, uh, goal. It had to create uh, divisions, partition, and it also uh, uh, served the, the basically religious, uh, religiously oriented uh, conservative nationalist ideology, whose goal was to separate peoples, of course, to get the territory, but also to delegitimize any attempts to work across these borders and any attempts of to, to question actually a new capitalist society. So this meant to marginalize or to destroy anything what would be coming from the left or socialist or emancipatory tradition. And the result is that they succeeded in it. They separated people, they created ethnically cleansed territories, they established local oligarchies that are using the sources that they can uh, have on these territories, and they managed to destroy anything that could aspire to uh, actually o overturn these results. Of course that the left is the main enemy. The left is anti-capitalist and it's internationalist. Uh, it also has a history of very strong Yugoslav co cooperation over the 20th century, namely under the auspices of, of the Communist Party or the League of Communists of Yugoslavia or the number of associated leftist organizations. So therefore, uh, conflict, uh, the new left, any new left, will have to deal also with that conflict, cannot just put it away in order to, uh, to just jump into the 21st century and uh, uh, into the struggles that have been clearly all, all, all uh, uh, around us, all across the world, from Zapatistas to Kurds to uh, uh, from Wall Street to, to Madrid or, or, or Athens. There is a one simple solution to this. The new left, as we said, uh, cannot be nationalist. The new left cannot be ethno-national. This is very difficult to understand what would be ethno-national uh, 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 left. It has to condemn absolutely the, the practices that amounted to the resurgence of fascism in the 90s across the post-Yugoslav space. If you kill someone because of his or her origins, if you destroyed populations on certain territories, if you discriminated heavily uh, uh, against people based on their, their origins, if you do all of this, then clearly this has to be both condemned by the new left and fight uh, at every instance. So this means that, that 
solution is there. This is a heritage that has to be rejected uh, as such. There is no negotiations with what was happening or the process of, 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 of disintegration of former Yugoslavia that any left forces can take a part in or, or to actually take one part or the other uh, uh, thing that uh, uh, give any concession to nation nationalist ideologies. On the other hand, of course, we still have to face this legacy. It is there. People's been now uh, uh, separated. Uh, there's a heavy trauma of, of war crimes. Uh, there is a total mistrust. And there you have to be the force that always acts beyond these borders because these borders have been imposed on you. Now, this is very difficult, uh, but it does happen. We saw uh, uh, that basically the new left works together. We saw the same repertoire of actions with students, with, uh, with also uh, 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 from also there, there have been a number of uprisings from Slovenia to Macedonia that again uh, work together. The, the, the movements such as the right to the city uh, in Zagreb or we don't give up Belgrade uh, here in Belgrade do work together and do have again the same repertoire of factions. So there is a way to overcome these, uh, uh, this problem. However, I'm not naive, the borders are there, and many people have been socialized only as citizens of the, the newly established states. That in itself should not be uh, a huge problem, but in order to be a, a truly leftist forces, one always has to know there is no socialism in one state, there is certainly no socialism in one ethnic group. Uh, therefore, if you act as a, as a part of emancipatory movements, you'll always like, act for emancipation, not only of your political community as defined uh, after the breakup of Yugoslavia, but also for all the, all the others, at least in the region where, where you happen to, to live. And this is the region uh, of, of the uh, post-Yugoslav Balkans or the Balkans in general.